I know, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Indie Thursday. It's April. Uh, not. It's this way. This is where. This is where April is. It's April. It's still April. So far. And uh, there was a Fool's Day, and I was not April fooled. But uh, what? Yes, yes, I was on Criminal Minds last night. Since you asked, there's a picture. I'm the guy in the middle. The guy, the guy who does. It. You may remember me. I played a guy named Rick, and I played the shit out of it too. I also had an exciting month with regards to me doing a loop in a biplane. I will also show you that right here. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a while. It's like 30 seconds. How, how many more seconds do I have? Do I want to say, I'm still, isn't that amazing? Look at me go. Look at me. I'm so great right up there in the biplane. Look at me. I'm having the time of my life, aren't I? Isn't that amazing? And I'm back. That was me doing a loop over the Pacific Ocean. The best fucking ocean in the world. Take that Atlantic. Yeah, they, my uh, cameraman, director, producer, uh, Pervert, Chris Coy, is saying that, uh, I'm sorry, was it not? Hey! I anchor the news. Is Brent paying people now? I've, I've heard more nice things about it. You guys know he's a horrible, horrible person in real life. He just puts on this show. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't believe that. that he's horrible? Oh yeah, he is. He is the worst. He volunteers as a prison guard just to beat people. True story. I can tell he's just really awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a front. I mean, they call him Brent the Butcher Harvey. See your name lights right there. That's, right. That's the that you've been waiting for. Live in Austin. And we're Austin. Austin. That's Texas. Yes. Well, Take that geography teacher. Well, we stuck around to interview you, even though it's past my bedtime. Uh, so I'm Nick at night at eight. Right? Exactly. 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 Um, Nick is my neighbor, and I watch him at night. So, sorry, Nick, that you had to find out this way. That's that's great advice. You know, as as my viewers know, I'm 47 years old. As I found out two years ago, Motown is not a lawnmower supply store. I'm sorry, I made that mistake. It might be. But it's not the Motown you're referring to. Look for it soon. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jet Dunlap for Philadelphia News, number seven in the ratings. I want to thank the Hollywood Half Marathon for me not having to do this kind of advertising. I'm also running the Half Marathon on Saturday, so wish me luck. Lens that I'm looking at right now and five people who accidentally go on this page because I tag it celebrity interviews. Ha <laughs> ha, no celebrities. Take a bow, Andrew. You've been doing a great job. Take one of those bows at Chinese food restaurants. The pork inside. You get to, if you look outside right now, you get to see my legions of fans. This is how it is. This is how I live my life. It's tough, but, uh, you know, now they're, now they're, are they dancing? Are they literally dancing out there right now? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, man. You won't be able to fit my ego through a door. Pat my ass. Pat, oh. Yeah, dude, Jesus. I go into fucking golden time then. I'm in platinum time right now. And see? See? Look at the back talk, you s. Don't get. See? This is the guy I'm telling you about. Is that on? Exactly. See? Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Who knew he had the acting chops to pull that off? Brent the Butcher right there, everyone. I'm Jet Dunlap from the Renaissance Hotel, wishing you a happy April and a decent May. Much better.